what does the average Kashmiri want in your view today? Does he want to reject both these countries today? Are you telling me that the average Kashmiri wants... Well, the average Kashmiri, I know this is going to land me into a lot of trouble, but the average Kashmiri views India as an occupational force. They, they, and most of them, they, they're not even thinking about Pakistan, they want freedom. There, I said it, but it's the truth. Are you speaking for a small elite of Gupkar Road and those who live in Mausua? The small, the small elite of Gupkar Road actually wanted to participate in the political process. What did you do to them, Rajdeep? Farooq Saab, jinke uh, walid ne uh, two nation theory reject ki, unpe aapne PSA slap kar diya raat ke ek baje. Pichle saal Vajpayee ji ka function hua tha, wahan pe hi chanted Jai Hind. Do you know he was heckled at a congr congregational prayer in Hazratbal Mosque? People almost attacked him. What have you done to that man? Do you know how old he is, Rajdeep? Do you know he's ailing? How have you treated him? On charges of what? Corruption? It's interesting to see the Muftis and the Abdullahs come together. I'm a human first. I am a human first. Sure. And then I'm a Mufti and then I'm a Kashmiri. And if we all want to be good, you can be a good Hindu, Muslim, but pehle insaan ke bachche to ban jao. Main insaan ki bachchi hoon. That's why I empathize with him, Rajdeep. No, I, you know, look, Atal Bihari Vajpayee famously spoke about Kashmiriyat, Jamuriyat, Insaniyat. Where has been insan That's the irony. That's the irony that BJP is following in the missteps of Congress and not in the steps of BJP. Look at how Vajpayee Saab conducted himself. Kashmiris, if, they, if they've looked up to one leader, if they've had respect for one Indian, like, you know, national leader, it's been Vajpayee ji. BJP had a road map. What did they do? Congress but, ko itna criticize but, karte hai, emergency, emergency, khud aapne emergency declare no, no, kar di Kashmir the, mein. No, no, but let's be honest and we're, you know, where is Jamuriyat? when only 10-15% people vote the remaining boycott. Where is insaniyat? Boycott kyun karte Where is insaniyat when you have, as I said, gave the example of the Kashmiri pundits who were driven out of the valley. Where is the notion of Kashmiriyat? And this is again linked to the pundits. You know, the whole idea of a melting pot, a uh, Sufism, Let's be honest, these are all romantic notions. But, but there is a reality on the ground. Much of what you say, I have full empathy Rajdeep, for the Kashmiri. Rajdeep, do you think we haven't suffered, Rajdeep? As, as a teenager, I've seen my mother walk out of the door in a battered ambassador. And I didn't even know if she's going to come back home to me in the evening. And this is probably when I was a child. I think I was 10 or 11. Now when I think of it, I normalized it, you know. For me, it was like, okay, she's going, she might not... Terrorism is not something that's just affected uh, pundits, Rajdeep. It's not a virus ki bas unko wa or hume ni wa. How much have we lost, Rajdeep? Because the pundits had to leave. I mean, Kashmir is a much richer place with pundits. We want them to come back. Aap log aisa kyu sochte hain ki hum musalmane to hume far ki nahi pada hai, Rajdeep. There's not a single life there that hasn't been, you know, affected by the insurgency. Even I, it's had an impact on everybody to just say this ki, indirectly hint ki, you know, thik hai, Kashmiriyat isle nahi hai because pundits were driven out and we supported it. We never supported it, Rajdeep. No, I take it. 90% of those who've died and even more possibly are local Kashmiris. You know, I feel sorriest for the Jammu and Kashmir police. They have been caught really in this battle like no one else. And, and many of them I know are brave, very brave officers who've got caught in a battle. I want to ask you though at the end, you've spoken of the human factor, you've given us all these heroes for the future. What in your view is the one thing that you would like to see happen in Kashmir today? What's that one thing that would give you hope? Because Listening to you, I feel depressed. You know, I... Well, I'm coming from a state that's seen a clampdown for the past two months where people are being repressed. It's unimaginable repression. Do you want me to be bursting firecrackers here on your stage? I mean, I feel the pain of my people. My mother's been incarcerated. Of course, 